Okay guys, tonight we're going to talk about passing parameters to PowerShell scripts. Now, I hadn't really planned on doing a video tonight, but I was on somebody's blog who said that I don't release enough videos so he couldn't recommend this site as a, as a good training site. So it kind of got me all riled up, so I'm going to make a couple videos tonight anyway, just to spite him. Um, so, tonight we're going to talk about, like I said, what did I say again? Oh yeah, passing parameters to PowerShell, to PowerShell files. Okay, so there are a couple different ways that you can pass a, a parameter when you call a PowerShell script. And uh, uh, I've got the first way right here, and I, I recently used this in a class, so I'm, I'm not going to rewrite it. Um, those of you who were in the class will recognize this. So what we've got here is we've got arguments, right? And arguments or the args parameter is a uh, is not only one fine pirate but it's a uh, it's a zero based array so you can see here that I'm, I'm I'm taking the zero based array and I'm assigning it to a local variable called server name then I'm taking the uh, um, I'm taking uh, args one and typing it to uh, to the local variable location. Sorry, my, my mind just went blank there for a second. And then all I'm going to do is print these out to the screen. Now, you don't have to assign these to local variables, um, but like it says up here in the notes, if you don't, then it can get pretty confusing if you've got a really, really long script and you've got like 17 arguments and you're sitting, and you know, you've got different paths and different file names with you know, arg15 and arg12 and arg2 and arg0 and arg17 and arg9. You have no idea what those things are, right? So it's always best when you when you use this method to go ahead and assign them to local variables so that when you're actually using them in your script, you know what the hell you're doing. Okay? Here, let me get rid of this down here. Okay, so all I've got to do is uh, call this script, and I think I'm going to have to get there first. Um, actually, I still think I have... Uh, let me see something real quick. Okay, so I've got to, I've got to change directories to class path. I'm glad I still have that in my profile. Okay, so if I do a dir on that, you see here I've got args.ps1. Remember, you always have to call a you always have to call a script with uh, the location. So it's either a you can either hard code the location or it can be uh, a relative path. But you always have to use a location of some kind. You have to qualify it. Args.ps1, and you don't even have to have the ps1 if it's the only args in there. And here I'm going to say my server and my location just because I'm so imaginative and there you go I got exactly what I was looking for server name is my server location is my location I can call those again and we'll say Sean's server Sean's location and you see I get the same thing I'm just passing those parameters right so one more time here, what I did was I used the args, our favorite pirate variable. I know, that's stupid. What do you expect from me? It's late. Uh, and we used, uh, the first one is 0, and the second one is 1, and then they just go up from there, right? So it's a 0-based array. And I just assigned them to uh, local variables, which I certainly didn't have to, right? I could easily say uh, server name and args 0 and args 1 down here. Um, but for for documentation purposes, um, it's a lot easier to do it this way. And also, if I wanted to document it out here, right? The server name is cool, and the location is cool. But you can, you see, you can, uh, you know, you can document these guys, and if you know, if you get it from someplace special, or, or if, if something in there needs some kind of documentation, so if you if you not only set this to args1, but if you set it to args1, and then do some math around it before you present it to the rest of the script, then you'll want to put that up here, you know, put your reasoning and, and, and you know, why the math is done, and so on. So, uh, that's how you do it with args, and I'll close. 
simple as that. No, I don't want to save the changes. And you can also just flat out pass it parameters, right? So uh, there's a param. You can say param, and then in the parentheses, just separate your parameters by with commas, and it's the exact same thing. You notice how this is the same. So all we're really doing is bypassing the arguments, right? Now what this does for you, or what the other one does for you, is it allows you to document a lot, a lot easier. And you notice how here I've got the server name and location here. So, so it's going to be a lot longer and a little bit messier if you've got a lot of parameters or if you've got some math to do on these parameters before you present them to the rest of the script it's going to be a lot messier and you may end up uh, and you may actually end up presenting it to uh, local variables anyway but you know if I wanted to comment this one a little bit it would be the same thing um, it would look like that right um, except I would want to say something like that, right? You, you want to document what this, what this parameter is all about. So, but anyway, you'll see here that it works the exact same. If I come here, params, you notice I get the exact same thing right here. I'll even clear the screen so it's easier for you to see. So I got params ps1, Sean's server, Sean's location, and it just prints those back to the screen right here, the server name here, and the location name there. It works the exact same. There's really, uh, there, there's no difference whatsoever in how these things get handled. Um, I just think that for small scripts that you're going to pass things in, um, this one will work just fine. But if you're going to pass in a lot of, if, if you're going to, if you're going to pass in a lot of parameters, and and or do some math on the parameters before you pass them to the rest of the script then I would personally use the args method instead but uh, you know here you would just same thing I mean you would take location or you could say location or ridge and then say location equals location or ridge and then do your math there but that's kinda of doubling up on the work but anyway that's how you pass parameters to uh, uh, PowerShell files and uh, good luck